Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Apparently, Electric Overload, the new pack just came out. It is July uh, 31st, as you can see right here. And sorry for that little Twitter thing, but it's July 31st right now. And the new pack is coming out, and it, 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 it's here. Go open up some packs, guys. Get your 500 free gems and do it. But I'm actually surprised, because normally when they release these packs, they usually come out during the day or like late or like the... Um, evening and stuff like that and for forever for whatever reason it dropped at 221 i was farming uh young american than this pack so i mean i guess let's just open up some packs and see if we can get anything good this could be the best pack opening ever but it probably isn't but we're gonna do a 20 card pack opening let's get it we got altitude knight for star warrior once per turn when another monster on the field returns to the hand or main deck send one one monster from deck to your hand royal knight the ice bear five star warrior if this card's tribute summon celestial summon one ice coffin token in attack position opponent's side of the field this token cannot be tributed for tribute something and then we have isami zamu level four water monster fairy spirit with the effect cannot be special summon this card returns to the owner's hands during the end phase when this is normal summer flip phase up, you can discard one card down. One spear monster for grave with your hand. Cool. Next up, we have Chain Ignition. Once per turn, if a monster your opponent controls is destroyed by your opponent's card effect, you can target one card of the field, destroy the target. Regeki Bottle. Each time a monster you control declares an attack, place one Thunder Counter on this card. You can send this card with four Thunder Counters to the grave and destroy all monster opponent controls. <laughs> Pretty entertaining. That's a funny card. Samurai of the Ice Bear, four star Ice Warrior with the effect. Wait, this is an 1800? 1800s are not rare anymore. Oh, uh, when this face up attack position cards change from face up defense position, destroy this card. And if you do, draw a card. Ooh, let's see what triple Kribo. So we're going to get anything good. First of all, we got Genic Alla, um, Ally Solid. It's a machine once per turn, so you can send one face up water. Gen X monster you control the graveyard, draw two cards. White oh, Ninja, level four warrior with the effect. Flip, target one face defense position on the field, destroy the target. That's pretty good. And then we got the Winged Tortoise. Don't know why we got triple Kribo's. That's clickbait. When a face up fish, sea serpent, or aqua monsters you control is banished, you can special summon this card from your hand or graveyard. Huh. Interesting. Next up, we have summoning curse of a monster is special summon the current controller of that hand. Monster of that monsters banishes one card from the hand once per turn during your end phase. Play 500, destroy this card. That's not really that good. White Ninja and then Wing Tertoise. Tertoise. Already got two copies of the card. Hopefully it's good. We got a fusion in the back. Tragic tri Magic Triangle, the Ice Barrier. Reveal three Ice Barrier monsters with different names in your hand. To select one card, your opponent controls. Destroy their opponent's card. And special summon one Ice Barrier for your monster for your hand. Leeching of the Light Spell. When you select a face up light monster, your opponent controls. All attack position monsters you control gain attack equal to the attack selected monster on the end phase. YZ Tank Dragon, a six light star dragon fusion with the effect. You must be special summoned for your extra deck, banishing the cards you control. You must be special summoned from the graveyard. You can discard one card, target one face up monster opponent controls, destroy a card. That's pretty good. Dude, making a tank dragon gek or the like XYZ tank dragon gek sounds so much fun. We got Doctor Two, Doc, Doc. That that guy looks pretty goofy. This is a fiend, apparently. It doesn't look like a fiend. If this card in your possession sits in your graveyard, your opponent's card effect, and you can target one card in your opponent's control and return to the hand. Senor Siva Ninja. When this card's flipped face up, you can special summon any number of ninja monsters except Senior Silver Ninja from your hand or graveyard face down defense position. It only can be one. Senior face. Silver Ninja on the field. Next up, we got Gen, Gen X Army, six star. When it's a tribute, summon by tribute, and Gen X monster, you can destroy one card opponent controls. That's pretty cool. Uh, Dimension Explosion, return one. Face a fusion monster, you can control to extra check. Both players select two of their monsters that are removed from play. It's best summon it. Dimension Explosion is definitely going to be the card to go for one of your opponents about to destroy your um, one of your XYZ Dragon Tank monsters if you plan to do that. I like that. And also. This can help out for anyone that uses Fusion Gate for Fusion Summoning. This is not that bad of a card, in my opinion. Yeah, you return, you control the extra deck. Both players. That's pretty good if you're playing Fusion, especially with the XYZ Dragon tank stuff, and if you're playing Banish with Fusion Gate. That's really cool. Poison Draw Frog, two-star Aqua. When this face-up card on the field is in the graveyard, draw one card. Pretty cool. Another draw card. Ooh, triple. Let's see if we get anything good. Ooh, we got a trap, it looks like. Fushi Notori. This card cannot be special summoned. This card returns to the owner's hand during the end phase of the turn that this card's north front and flips face up. When this card reflects battle damage to your opponent's life points, creature point. Oh, okay, cool. Senior Silver Ninja. 
Did we already get one of those? I think we already read one of those. Come on, we get triple Karibos and no super rare ultra. This game's rigged. Leaning to the destruction, activate only during a turn where you destroyed a defense position monster you probably control. Select one late monster you control and turn the select monster can attack twice. Come on. It's metal armored bug and eight star twenty eight hundred insect. Cool. Ooh, we got Y Dragon Head. Once per turn you can um, either target one X cannon, head cannon, or you control equip that card to the target or unequip that card to special summon it. This monster gains foreign attack. Defense quit monster to be destroyed. Cool. Booby trap E. Discard one card. Set. One continuous trap from your hand or graveyard to the field. That set card can be activated this turn. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty nifty card. Okay. This got to be something good. Uh, okay. So it's a five. It's, it's, a, it's a monster. Flame. Armor. Ninja. This is uh, somebody. You can target one inch of monster control. Increase level by one. Cool. Booby trap E. Hingnu Taku Kachusi. This is one of the Pyro Spirits. Um, if this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, they just cut all our cards in their hand during the next draw phase before they draw. Huh. Interesting. So we got one of the uh, Super Rares, I think, or Ultra Rare? Yeah, that's a Super Rare. Don't really care too much. That haul was trash. Let's see if the next 10 packs are, gives us something good. I want to... I, hopefully, we can build something out of these 20 packs. I doubt that's going to happen, though. I'm going to need to buy a lot of cards from these packs to even build a decent deck, which sucks, but you do what we got to do. We know what that card hits. A tadpole. I recognize this card. This card destroyed battle sense of your graveyard. You can add any amount of tadpoles from deck to hand. That's pretty nice to thin out your deck. Pretty cool. Ooh. Ooh. Is it the fusion? Ah, oh, it's not the fusion. Guarded treasure. I didn't. I, I, I don't know why I didn't read that. <laughs> Air Armor Ninja. When this card summoned, you can target one Ninja Monster Controller, which is a level by one. General Gurlata of the Ice Bear. Once per turn during end phase, you can select one Ice Bear in your mind. Graveyard, except uh, da, 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 and special summon it. I don't care. I really don't care about these ones. Uh, we got a ritual spell used to summon Shinsu, the King of the Higher Plane. I'm guessing that's the ritual that's on the front card. It's also Tribute Monsters, whose levels are aimed more from your field of the hand. Rebound. When your opponent activates a spell, trap, or monster effect that returns cards from the hand of the field, and Gate that effect. If you do send the card, card from your opponent's hand at random from the side of your field to the graveyard, when the side card's destroyed, you just draw one card. Ninja Grandmaster Suki. This is an 1800. At the start of the damage set, this text a uh, defense position monster, destroy the monster. That's really good. That's a good card. Shinjong's Arc. Da who of the Ice of Perry are. Dang, that's a 20. At first, second, I thought this was a four star. I was about to say, this is a four star with 2200 defense. No way. Uh, but it isn't. When this card's normal or flip summon in this changed defense position while this card's face up on the field, face up drag ice berry monsters control can have a true spell tards. Vex. We trap E again. Death croaking. Activate when you control three. Death frogs. Destroy all cards opponent controls. Dice foon. Roll six sided dying when playing the effects. Two, three, or four. Destroy one spell and track on the field. Five. Uh destroy two spell track cards on the field. One or six, take a thousand damage. I like that card. I actually want to run that, honestly. For back row removal, that's a spell. Now, it's a gamble, but that's actually, that's a nice card. I actually like that. Why are these end cards kind of cool? I actually think that's a decent card. We have a Lurry when this is discarded. a great, smash summon it. Okay. Come on, give us something good. Single purchase. If you have three more cards in your hand other than this card, none of them are mine, and none of them are monsters. Banish your entire hand, face up. Add one monster from your deck to your hand. If you do, you cannot normal summon or special summon any monsters. Okay, not too bad. And that's a frog. When this tribute summon, you can special summon death frogs from your hand or your deck up to the number of tadpoles in your graveyard. Already have that card. Magic Triangle of the Ice and Barrier. Reveal three Ice Barrier monsters, different names from your hand. So select one monster opponent control, destroy your opponent's card, and special summon one Ice Barrier from your hand. A XY Dragon Cannon. Six star light monster. With X head cannon, Y head dragon head cannot be special summoned from the graveyard. You can discard one card, then target one face of spell trap your opponent controls to destroy that target. Fable Topi Fiend. If your opponent has two or more cards in their hand than you do, you can reveal one Fable Monster in your hand. Tribute this face of card and select two Strelled Trap Cards, opponent code. Destroy them. Treasure Map. You can only activate this card in response to the activation of an effect that would return this card from your field to hand. Draw two cards from your deck, discard one from your hand. And we already have that guy. Uh, I feel like we're almost out of packs, and this is okay. Are we going to get anything good? 
Uh, oh, it's the it's the ritual. It's the ritual monster. Um, so we just got that. But let's read these first two cards quick. Machine effect. If this card was in your hand or graveyard, you can tribute some in. Tribute tokens. Um, those e levels equal three or more. Tributes to special summon this card. You only can use effect at duck fire once per turn. Newman. I can't say that. You can play like special summon monsters with 1,800 or less attack. Cool. And then we got the ultra rare Shento King of the Higher Plane. This is a fairy ritual. It only can be used um, ritual summon with Shinto's arc. Um, let's just read the effect. You guys should know how ritual monsters um, are like. When this card destroys a defense position, monster inside of the graveyard is all a battle. Inflict damage to your opponent equal to original tech monster. That's pretty cool. Nothing too crazy, though, in my opinion. Ooh, we got a fusion. Argenx Magma. When this is normal summon, you can add a level 2 Argenx monster from your deck to your hand. We already have that. And another XY Dragon Cannon. There we go. We are done with opening packs. Um, You know what? Why not? I was going to do like a 30 pack opening. We're going to do a 25 pack opening. So we're a cool kid. So let's open up five more packs and get to crap. We're going to get nothing good here. We already got that. Ooh, since you are a duplication, tribute one ninja monster, special summon any amount number of ninja monsters from your deck. A face up attack or face down defense position with combined level. E less or equal to the total level of the treatment monster when this card leaves through so those monsters cool uh, effect mecha phantom beast or kin once per turn you can banish one mecha phantom beast monster from your graveyard except that uh, this one right here special summon mecha phantom beast token this card's level is increased by the total levels of all mecha phantom beast tokens you control one you control token this card cannot be stored with card effects we already see those two We've seen that. We've seen that. We did not see this one. Oh, well, XZ Tank Cannon. Must be special summoned from your extra deck with banishing the above cards of control. Cannot be special summoned from the graveyard. You can discard one card, then target one face down spell and trap card your monster from the target. That's cool. I actually really want to make an XYZ uh, fusion deck. It seems like a lot of fun. Seen that card. Seen that card. Uh, Frontline base. One per turn. You can special summon a level four. You lower you in monster from your hand. Nice. Chain Ignition, Shore Knights. Once per turn, when the battle position of this face of cards changes, then one monster from the deck to your hand. And we already seen that one. Last pack? Nope, that was our last pack. So that's going to be it for our 25 packs. I kind of want to take a look at some of the other cards, though. Definitely going to want to save up my gems for more cards from here and stuff like that. So another one we have is a creator. Cannot be special summoned from the graveyard. Once per turn, you can target one monster in your graveyard. Send one card from your hand to your graveyard and special summon that target. That's really good. This guy, if this is Tribute Summon, you can banish one spell card from your graveyard. Add one then with the same name, banish spell. Hmm. I'm just going to kind of skim through these real quick. So this is an 1800. Oh, that's not bad. You can discard one spell card and then target one spell and trap if you want to control destroy a target. Nice. Oh, I recognize this. Wait, this is... Oh, my God. No. No. A four-star 1900 monster. And this is Effect Monster also, which is scary. There's a non-light monster on your side of the field. Destroy this face-up card. Huh. That's good for the first 1900 monster in the game to have this kind of effect. So light decks are going to be powerful. Fairy decks are going to be pretty powerful. But still a 1900 monster just like that. Oh, that's scary. Now, I know I know. there's like a bunch of like cards already in the game like dragon decks and yugi decks right now that are 1900 and 200 2000 attacking monsters but i mean still in general 1900 just straight up monster bruh mecha phantom beast we have a different mecha phantom beast treeborn frog oh no once for turn to understand my face if this card's engraving and you do not control treeborn frog it's better than this we must uh, have <laughs> cards are gonna be annoying i really want this one to build a deck xyz dragon cannon and some of the other stuff. Yami Dragon. Oh, what the heck? Okay, it's a Spear Dragon. Interesting. Gen X. Another Gen X card, 1700. Just kind of skimming through this and see what's decent. Ooh, wait, what's this one? Increase the uh, attack of dark monsters by four. Oh, okay. Cool. Luminous Dark. Increase the. Okay, so these are field spells for both light and dark. Double mechanical arm by tribute two monsters and target two monsters opponent control take a dose until the end phase. I'm getting in the hiccups right now. If you control no special level monsters, tribute uh, face up level four um snorrel set monster, draw two cards. That's not bad. 
I'm getting the hiccups right now. That's annoying. I wish there was water near me, but there isn't. And Thunder Type Monsters summon to your field, target one opponent. What? When a Thunder Type Monster is summoned to the field, target one monster card, your opponent controls, destroy a target. You can summon a 1900 monster and then play this. Murrah. That's just. That's. I'm not a fan. Skimming through some of the cards in here. See if anything pops my uh, catches my eye. We got all of the um, metal tanks that I want. Like three copies of each of those cards, honestly. Uni Frog, the Calculator. This card's pretty good. Attack at this card is on the combined levels of Face of Monster Control times 300. It's pretty nice. Troop Dragon, interesting. X Cannon Head. I would not mind getting one of those. Definitely want to build a Xyz dra Dragon Tech and all that stuff. And a lot of nifty cards in here, that's for sure. Guys, go open up your 10 packs and other gems that you've been saving up. Definitely want to go do that. This set seems pretty cool. The only one that spots my eye that was making the XYZ Dragon Cannon Fusion deck. Whether it's good or not, it just seems like a lot of fun to mess around with. But that's going to be it for today's video. If you did watch till the end of this video, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links pack openings. See you guys later. Goodbye. Adios.